What's up everybody, Louis Marco here. Another sad news actually, two bodybuilders died uh, lately. Uh, first one is uh, IFBB Pro Michael uh, Aylward. He died on November 29th. This dude just won his pro card, I repeat, pro card in 2013, this year, right? In the Masters National and the Men Physique category. He died at a young age, but um, there's also another guy who was probably more known than him. Unfortunately, there's nobody famous in death, but uh, that's it. Derek Anthony passed away, guys. If you guys are following bodybuilding since a while, you should definitely know this guy. Uh, he used to work, he was part of Team MD, Muscle Development Magazine, in the early years. He died at 32 years old. I repeat, 32, right? Dude was um, a huge bodybuilder. He won uh, the teen um, heavyweight or super heavyweight, if I'm not mistaken, in a, in a, in a very known uh, contest. And then he knew the dark side of bodybuilding. Uh, this is him when he was sick. Uh, dude injected synthoid, admittedly. He took all kinds of stuff. He had a YouTube channel with about 4,000 following. And he was speaking extensively about his uh, consumption, right? This is one of them. Uh, he was talking about his health. Dude had every side effect related to, to gear, right? Destroyed his liver. He was doing dialysis for his kidneys. Kidneys were gone completely. And he was awaiting a heart transplant. So he died with, uh, from a heart attack. Uh, this is the last video of him with his niece uh, two weeks ago. Uh, November 20th, you know, he looked unhealthy. He was singing and whatever, but that's it. Dude, um, you know, was really controversial as well. I uh, have to tell you about, uh, you know, he knew all the dark sides about body. Look at this video. He calls it uh, Derek Anthony hating on Get Big. A lot of people hated on him. Uh, there is a reason for that. I'm going to tell you a bit, a bit about it later. Look at this meme, right? A lot of people were making memes about him. Uh, HTN, CAD, CHF, ARF, HEPB, meaning uh, hepatitis B. Uh, who says you can't self-induce five diseases by the age of 30? By 30, he had all these diseases, right? Why? As I said, he was consuming a lot of gear. Uh, you know, gear were definitely side effects and whatnot. He also has done uh, the bad side of, of bodybuilding slash fitness. Namely, he has done G4P. He was one of probably the most known bodybuilder doing G4P. Aside from, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kai, probably. Um, and that gave him a lot of heat, right? Dude was sponsored by GAT, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let me confirm that for you real quick. So he was definitely, you know, with a big company back in the day and whatever uh, he has also got that uh, famous palomboism I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that real quick if I found the picture there we go they say palombo oined palombo oined he got that palomboism going on for him look at the, the distorted stomach and the muscles melted up there he looked really sick and of course he was doing that famous Whatever G4P was dancing for guys and whatever. Look at his uh, his stomach. He looked definitely not healthy. This dude, as I said, he was sponsored by GAT, if I'm not mistaken, right? It was really good back in the day, and then he he knew the dark side of uh, of bodybuilding. He was doing some whatever, a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna show you all the images out of respect, but he also lost his hair when he was young. I'm not going to read you this because it is definitely disrespectful in this uh, situation here. But uh, that's what's up. Uh, you guys might check his channel because he was speaking openly about the dark side of, um, of bodybuilding, right? Dude was healthy. Look at him. He was definitely healthy and all of a sudden, boom, right? He became something else. Uh, it is quite sad, quite sad because... Uh, you know, we hear about these known guys and there are a lot of guys, you don't even hear about them because they're, they're not as known as, uh, as these guys, right? So, uh, may he rest in peace uh, still. Uh, we heard about him because, you know, he's a known guy. 
32 years old is so young, it's just does not um, worth it, just does not worth it. I'm not gonna speak uh, extensively about him. If you guys are familiar with bodybuilding forums and whatnot, he was quite known there. A lot of people were talking about, about him in a bad or a good way, but well, mostly in a bad way, and he knew about it, right? Uh, that's it, guys. Salute you wherever you are. Uh, please watch his videos on YouTube. You know, Derek Anthony is the channel's name. Uh, he spoke extensively about what, whatever he has done to his body and whatnot. And look at, at forums that were, they were discussing about it. They were saying here, Derek Anthony, he's about to die for you, bitches. Right? He consumed a lot of stuff. Look at that. They were doing some memes about him. Like Koza Nosra. The offer he could not refuse was whatever. Because he was doing... He has done some movies, apparently. As far as I understand. Health insurance not provided by webcams because he was doing some web shows and of course there it will give you money. However, it does not give you health insurance. He had all type of sickness. Uh, watch his videos and please take notice and understand because a lot of teens actually are not satisfied with their physique, thus resorting to take some stuff. Even some dudes I know, dudes are trained actually. They finish by by plunging and going into the dark side of bodybuilding because they're never satisfied a lot of peer pressures you know uh one of my biggest accomplishments as i mentioned to you guys before if you're following me is not my physique right but it is actually the satisfaction with my physique at 38 years old i'm satisfied with what i have that's it guys i mean when you reach that level thank god that's the most important thing right uh i've never competed never felt the need to compete Never had that peer pressure, never had a gym partner. Do it for yourself, for your health, guys. Think about your health first of all. Health first, the rest will follow. Forget about your peer pressures, do it for you. And that's it, guys. Fitness should be about health, not about destroying uh, your body. Salute you wherever you are. May he rest in peace, and for God's sake, retrieve a lesson from this google the guy google derek anthony google what he has done or the dark side of bodybuilding dude was one of the top guys he, he was sponsored uh, he won a super heavyweight show and look how how dark his situation became when he knew the dark side drugs are drugs drugs are serious drugs can kill you you can get addicted they will destroy your organs and you will die young I'll come back to you. Mark my word for it. I'll come back to you to discuss about another bodybuilder dying soon. They will die like flies. They're dying like flies. Retrieve a freaking lesson, guys. Freaking wake up. I hate when I receive a message on my Facebook, a freaking 19 years old, telling me, I'm bro, I'm on Diana Ball. Eight weeks deep. It's too late. I'm on a show. God, you know what? By God, by God is my witness. Received a message yesterday on my Facebook from a dude say, uh, t tell me that his kidneys failed. Mr. Aaron, Mr. Aaron, if he's hearing me, he, he is a witness. You can comment on my, on, my, on my video. Aaron, tell them what you told me yesterday on Facebook. He's awaiting uh, basically a statement that his, his kidneys are failing. 20 years old from the UK. God is my witness. He took only one cycle. God, by God, I swear to you, only one cycle. His kidneys are gone. So go ahead and play freaking Russian roulette with whatever products you're buying. You don't know what's in it. And the worst thing, obviously, it's the PCT, actually. Post-cycle therapy who destroyed his, his organs. Look at that. This is a 32 years old. Look at it. Look, destroyed. Look, looking finished, chemically burnt. My, my, may he rest in peace. Retrieve a freaking lesson for God's sake. Yes, I'm not the biggest. I'm not the strongest dude on YouTube, but I'm the realest. Damn you, natural, daily. That's it, guys. The only way to take gear will be TRT. And even me, I'm, I cannot take it. When I went to my doctor, no. 
straight up. You told me if you take it, you'll say just the side effects. Your testes are still working. Thank God for that. That's it. So if you're healthy, stay healthy. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Don't look to be the biggest, the smallest. Damn you. When will you be satisfied, for God's sake? The satisfaction is your biggest accomplishment. The biggest accomplishment. That's the biggest muscle you to develop. Satisfaction. If you're satisfied, nobody would push you to take gear. Never thought me of taking gear. Ever. Ever. Not even slightly. And I'm proud of it. And I'm proud of it. I'm not the most known bodybuilder on YouTube. But I'm the realest. And we're rare. Not even half natty. So go ahead and follow, and follow some false hopes. People giving you some false hopes. Being 5% body fat all year long. And you think they're natural. And try to follow their lead. They will lead you to your death. That will lead you to your tomb and you will die unknown. Take a lesson.